Hi, my name is Yan Ren. Hi, my name is Meng Wu. Uh, we did a project called a Smart Cabinet. It could be stored items automatically. Uh, uh, for example, uh, we have a platform. It could be moved uh, vertically, and we have two box. Uh, this is to move horizontally. Uh, on the top, uh, we have a user face. Uh, we have two cells. It will be display the status of the cell, and uh, it also display the system status. And uh, we have five buttons. Two of them is for the storing and the pick up the pur pick up purposes, and the other three buttons are for uh, input. Uh, so let's do a small demo. So there's a car stored in the in the top cell right now, right? Oh uh, yes. And so you're going to un you're going to bring that up to the top. Yes. yes. Okay. So if we push this button, and uh, we we need to enter the code, and uh, right now, uh, this is to uh, change in every in every digit. Uh, so it's nine three. Nine. It's gonna be picking up. Okay, now the, the the box is moving slowly over the platform. If I get the angle of the camera just right, I might be able to see the wheels of the car in there. And you're going slowly on this speed. You're going, the motors are going, the, this is going slowly because it has a lot of torque. Yeah. And you're trading off torque for speed here, which makes sense. So the use scenario here is you see this as a, a way of se of having a big cabinet in your house or some or in a, in a warehouse where you roll a pallet onto the top it stores itself and then and then you know and you don't have to handle it. Okay, so it did all the operations completely correctly. Very cool. So you, you, you designed this very heavy mechanically. Yes. So it's quite rigid, which helps rely, repeatability and and um, and uh, keeps it from jamming. Anything else you want to add? Okay, thank you.